You know that scene in every action movie or adventure movie where the main protagonist is racing through preparations or training or building something, maybe a zoom in on their face with all like sweaty and focused and determined. You've no concept of how long something is taking them or how long they're training for, but there's always moving, plotting, creating, and usually some crazy background music that makes you feel like you're revving out for a battle or some far out mission. Even if the overall plot is unclear, it's like the most famous scene of that movie. You watch a character operate at that level for a few minutes in that montage sequence. Now imagine that that protagonist is actually your partner <laughs> and that crazy action montage movie scene of them building or creating something is actually just like every day of your life. Welcome to the workshop. Right now we have about a dozen projects that we're working on, but a few stick out. The first one that we did this week was cleaning out this very grim extra room that we have next to the main working station. Let's follow me and let's take a look. This, what you can see, is from prehistoric age of me not ruling this workshop. I have my part nicely organized. I didn't need this room and I knew it's a secret potential and now it looks like it's about the time to take over it. So we need to like take everything out and make a bit of a system and a structure in this room. After that whole space was organized, it was time for some smaller projects. As a lot of you know, if you're a creator, you like to improve the space that you're working in or living in. So that means that there have always been all of these micro projects that loom around the workshop. My buddies kept complaining about uh, not having anywhere to put helmets because I only had my holder and my workshop for my helmet So now without driving anywhere I can just 3d print these and when nobody's around I can still use them for my coats and a backpack and anything and I love it I really enjoy Becoming conscious about something. I don't like at a workshop So this used to be something that I always have to grab and move it somewhere and drop it off and especially when it's loaded that's annoying so i realized one day why wouldn't i have wheels on this and i always have in a shed some old furniture wheels so i shaped them welded them to the stand and now i can just grab it and move it anywhere like a portable soldering station there's a glued extension cord so i can just grab this run it, plug it in, and then on the magnet I have all my tools that I use most commonly. There is extra shelf with heat shrinks and uh, wire strippers and all the stuff I do on a daily basis. And I might eventually make another shelf for the soldering station to sit right here, but you never know. After that, it was all about Cyberbike. As a lot of you know, we are all very e-bike obsessed here at this workshop and there's always some sort of creation centered around the e-bike industry. Lottie has been working and building the cyber bike but also a lot of these little like gadgets and accessories that riders could potentially benefit from in the future. What he's working on now is like this back end holder that would help out delivery guys. It's pretty sick. This can, this can be eventually ready to make a prototype so this is this is the 3d model uh, i just finished modeling a luggage carrier for the cyber bike so anybody like a pizza delivery 
or anybody like a postman, anybody can attach accessories like boxes or pizza boxes and use it as a workhorse eventually. So my goal with this design was it needs to be super convenient to mount on and off because I want to have it all the time and go through the mission to take it on and off. So this is what I came up with and look at this. So on the pane here, here on the bike, right here, you don't want to be, we have these covers and you don't want to have a metal on metal to uh, scratch the pane and chip it and have it ugly. So instead of these, I'm going to 3D print uh, little sockets for the, for the thread rod. So the following stage of this development will be some kind of a board like this that I need to sort out attachments to. If you enjoyed this kind of new format of video or a fun little kind of happy hour Zoom call with your girl Margaret, leave a comment below, um, support us on Patreon, and we'll see you in another video.